Wismon is a tool designed to help fisheries managers deal with the results of simulation models in a sophisticated way. It moves the workflow from the hands of the fishery scientists to the hands of fisheries managers to assist them in decision making. In this case study, the target user is a fisheries manager in Alaska making decisions about salmon harvesting. In this example, a scenario is defined as a combination of two management option values which were sampled at 11 discrete values each. The simulation model was run 500 times for each combination of 11 by 11 scenarios. Each run results in 12 indicator values. Each of them is an average over the full output from the 500 Monte Carlo runs. On startup, no constraints have yet been set, so the fully colored active region covers the full size of each country plot. All the X and Y combinations of management options are acceptable. The manager now interactively explores using the sliders in the constraint pane to set constraints on unacceptable values for indicators. For the years where escapement is below the target, she settles on 50%. A curvilinear region in the upper right is grayed out on all of the plots. She then changes the subsistence catch indicator to 30%, and the active range shrinks further. Finally, she sets the average annual commercial catch to a minimum of 100,000 fish, leaving a small feasible region for further detailed exploration. Some indicators within the active region are dark blue, showing that they are in the highly preferred range, while others are the lighter green color indicating unfavorable values. After a quick look at the medians and the averages, she decides that the patterns and the country plots are similar enough that it is safe to ignore the medians and treat the data as symmetrically distributed, so she decides to deactivate those. The manager now explores a few scenarios by clicking within different contour plots, looking for locations where the plots are darkest while avoiding sensitive regions of close isolines. And the trade-off pane appears to show detailed information about those scenarios for comprehensive analysis. Her objectives are high average commercial catch, minimal escapement below target, and few years without commercial fisheries. To start with a simple analysis, she deactivates the uncertainty by removing the error bars. By just looking at the average value of scenarios, the red scenario looks promising. She then considers uncertainty to make sure that the red scenario is still a good choice. She changes the uncertainty visualization to box plus to see a more complete summary and then to shaded distributions to see the full underlying uncertainty. She maximizes the bottom pane to better look at the shaded distributions for detailed comparison of scenarios. She groups the bars by scenario to compare the scenarios as multi-indicator elements with each other. She verifies that the red one remains as her top choice. She scrolls down to the average commercial catch indicator to see how the scenarios are distributed along the slider, then sorts the charts in the trade-offs pane by this indicator. She turns on the histograms showing the distribution of Monte Carlo trials for each indicator, and then selects the red scenario to compare its distribution to the full dataset. The histograms are now log-scaled vertically to make the details visible. She inspects the uncertainty associated with each grid point in the contour plots to distinguish between certain and uncertain regions at the summary level. And then digs deeper by turning on the mouse over histograms. She selects a new scenario, colored light blue, that has better trade-off than the red one. She now switches to an alternative slider view to set constraints based on a probabilistic limit of a percentage of Monte Carlo trials. Moving the limit from no trials to 80% of them causes parts of the control plus to be crossed out.
She notes that none of the scenarios are in the crossed-out region that is unacceptable according to this probabilistic constraint. She concludes that the light blue scenario is indeed the best alternative, given her analysis of the underlying Monte Carlo information in addition to the summarized version of the dataset.